This is the first of five meetings that we're having across the state to get anyone's input that wants to give input on our new Maryland state plan for ESSA. On a brisk winter night in Washington County, people gather to hear about the new federal Every Student Succeeds Act. ESSA is, is the new law. State educators craft Maryland's plan. Looking at accountability for schools and states, how we're supporting our students and how we're supporting our teachers. We're both here on transmit and receive. State Board President Andrew Smerick joins Maryland School Superintendent Karen Salmon and a host of top educators on this listening tour. Tonight. There are lots of different people who we might not have heard from otherwise who are coming out and giving us new ideas, different ideas, so we can have the best product possible toward the end of this year. The other thing I want to alert you to is we have a survey online. Maryland seeks input across multiple really forums so the state can submit its plan before year's end and amend as needed. Under federal guidelines, each state must address, among other things, these basics. Accountability includes test results, English language proficiency, and graduation rates. Low performing schools, where every state must identify, intervene, and follow through. And testing, reading and math in grades three through eight, once in high school. States must break out data on school and subgroup levels. But beyond the basics, states can craft plans with significant latitude. Maryland wants transparency. I hope that we'll get to what I would consider an understandable system of accountability for our federal law so that anybody can understand uh, where their student is achieving and where their school is achieving across the state. Let's move to our groups now. The tour breaks into groups to consider the plan to date and to give the necessary feedback. The states do have a lot of flexibility in what to include in those indicators, which is one of the reasons why the stakeholder feedback is so important. There are cards in front of you or sporadic around the table, and then there's sticky notes. Feedback is oral and written. And there's been a need for some additional mentorship, even though she's a 12-year veteran and a very experienced teacher. Not surprisingly, more than half the survey responses so far come from teachers. I have to say. <laughs> Timers keep the meetings on track. This is, group has done a great job of providing some new ideas. It's just exciting to see such a large crowd come out. It's a cold night. Uh, there might be some snow. And snow there was. But the listening tour got a warm reception. Four more set in the coming days. From Hagerstown, this is MSDE-TV.